everyone, this is Janice. Today we're going to make this um, cute little card that I'm going to use as a thank you card. And it says, so very, and it's a matchbook type card. And then inside it says, blessed. That's a Stampin' Up! set that I got from my um, very dear friend, Robin. Her mother-in-law gave it to me. And it's, I believe it's from 2007, so I don't know if it's still available, but it's a very nice set, and um, I'm going to be using it today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll tell you all about it as we go along. First of all, um, my little image here, this is from Simply Charmed, and it's cut at three inches, and it is the shifted bird. Um, I'll tell you the number of the, the button number is, oh birdie where are you, oh my word, I thought I was so prepared, hello, where are you, oh, there it is, it's um, bird number nine, or button number nine, but it's the shift, okay, it's the little bird flying. And so we're going to put him together, and we're going to kind of embellish him and make him really cute, just like this one. And so all I'm going to do is just use some liquid glue. I use, my two favorite glues are the Scotch Quick Dry and this, what comes in this bottle, the Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue, which I tend to lean towards this because of the bottle. So I put Scotch Quick Dry in it. That's what's in there right now. I just like this bottle a lot. It doesn't clog. I have clogging issues. And then I'm going to take my Jelly Roll pen. And I'm just going to add little faux stitch marks on the areas that are going to show. Because some of some of his body will be covered by his wing and his little belly. And you all know, if you've watched my videos before, I've said that I like cardinals, so I'm making him red. Okay, and then he has a little black bling for his eyeball. Where are my black bling? Where did they go? Again, but oh, oh, hello, over here. Little black bling, just simple. Okay, and then here's his wing, and the belly, and his little beak. I can't forget the beak. I'm use my little tweezers. These ones happen to be from We Are Memory Keepers. But I love the um, the ones, um, the Cutter Bee, the yellow and black ones. I love those. Those really hold very, very tightly. These don't hold as tightly, but I keep the other ones in my bag for when I go to Michael's. Because we don't carry these in the store. I got these from Joanne.com. So now we're going to embellish his wing and his belly, and I'm using my new Hero Arts stamp, and um, I don't remember, but it, it's a spirally looking one, okay? And I got that from Custom Crops, if you're wondering. I've seen it at Archivers as well. And now I'm going to get my Versamark so that I can um, put some ink here. And I'm just going to set that down in the ink and set this down here. Doesn't matter where, it'll be cute no matter what. And then I'm going to use clear embossing powder for this one. And I'm just going to dip it in there. Like that. Sorry, bump 
the camera. Okay. Eat it. Hold it in place. Yeah. So those are going to get popped up with some of my fun foam that I use for dimensionals. I did buy some foam tape at Big Lots. I've heard some of you say that you get your foam tape in the hardware section of Big Lots and I was just passing by the other day passing by the hardware department and I caught a glimpse of it so I picked some up, I picked up two rolls so once I run out of this I think I'm gonna just try that out and see how it goes okay so there's my bird so cute okay so he's done so now we need to just work on the background, okay? And again, it is using my stamp. And this time I'm gonna remember to use my static, my um, static removal bag. I got this at Michael's. I know you can get it stamping up. Um, I'm sure Joanne's carries it. And I'm just going to put Versamark all over the stamp. And this is the Fisker's um, stamp press, which is nice. This holds it for you. I'm just going to apply even pressure. And there we go. On this, I'm using. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get a very good impression on this, so I'll probably, we'll make it work. And this is white embossing powder that I'm using this time. Again, try and use what I have. I didn't get that much in the way of Christmas presents for crafting because I have so much. I told my husband I really just didn't really need anything. Okay. I mean, I got some stuff, don't get me wrong. This is going to be part of it too. We're going to create a little border. Um, something I discovered is that um, three scallops get matched to the outside and there's always two on the inside. I don't know if you ever noticed that, but see these two right here? They go to the inside and these three are on the outside. Still trying to. There's, sometimes I just I miss a step and then I re try to realign it and it doesn't always work out for me. So just trying to figure out a trick and that trick's been working for me. Okay, when I did the card, um, what I did was I cut a eight and a half by eleven in half at four and a quarter, and I put this in my Martha Stewart scoreboard, and I scored the first. Um, 
line at four and seven eighths, and then the next one is at ten inches, and that's how I got this card. Okay. And I'm gonna use my tiny attacher and I'm gonna use it backwards because this part's gonna show on the card and I don't want those little sharp things out because I don't want the person to get cu um, caught up on it or you know catch it on their sweater or anything like that so these are gonna be covered so I'm not worried about that see in that way okay now like I said I'm using the so very step set and I'm going to use the so very and I'm using the blessed and again I got it from Robin's mother-in-law she's so very very sweet to me She's a very kind lady. Okay, and then I'm just going to use the Memento Black Ink. And these letters are very thick, so I just want to make sure to get a very good impression. And just stamp it right there. Okay, that's good. And then on the inside, we're going to put this, and I, I didn't tell you what this panel measures. These Both of these measure the same thing, and they're 4 inches by 4 and 5 eighths. And this one's going to be for the inside. Okay. I'm going to try remembering the inside maybe this year. I don't usually do anything to the inside. Maybe this will make it a little thicker. I mean, not maybe, I know it will. And then the blessed goes inside. Okay. I'll write my message there, and then this goes here. Something teaching me. Now this paper came from the Soda Pop 8.5 by 11 paper from Recollections. That's Michael's paper. Okay. And then I have these little hearts. And I'm just um, using them, um, you know, like the dot, dot, dot type thing. You know, so very dot 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 blessed. Okay. And then this piece will go here, but before we put that piece, let's see here. Yeah, my bow's gonna be right there, so that's gonna be covered. Um, I have a 15 inch piece of ribbon and then I have this acrylic block which happens to be two and a half by two and a half and this is how I do my ribbon if you've never seen me do this. This is how I make my bows. See how this is um, twisted the wrong way? I just twist it around and then pull it and then pull it again and just keep messing with it till I get it to where I like it. And that way I have something that can hold it nice and, and tightly so I can pull this tightly because if I try to do this on the card it um, bends my paper and you know all that. 
Okay, and then trim the little tails here. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so there's my little bow. My little and because I'm going to tie it to one side, I'm going to cut right here, and then I'm going to get some adhesive and put it down. Be about right there. Okay, so let's turn it around. I'm just going to put adhesive on each side. side. Okay. And then I'm going to set this in. Oh, I need a little more adhesive. ATG tape was one of those things that I got for Christmas. I got 24 rolls. So those are the kinds of things I got. Just kind of like stocked up on just a few things. Alright. And then that's where the, um, the bird goes. Right there. He's going to get popped up. It's just not straight. So, yeah, there we go. It's better. And then, like I said, he's going to get popped up, so I'm just going to cut. for his tail and his body maybe there and another one about here there we go and he fits in a Walmart envelope um, their imitation envelopes are six and a half by four and a half, and that will the card will fit in there. So that's it for my thank you card. Thank you so much for watching, and hope you're enjoying the last few days of December. Hope you're blessed. Thank you. Bye.